gotta be kidding me. You're gonna risk the entire mission for a mental defective dressed as a court jester. It's coming from a guy that wears a toilet seat on his head. We don't leave one of our own behind. Hopefully Harley's still alive. No funny business, Colonel. These are dangerous people. Team two is clear to go. Fire up. Three, two. What are you guys doing? What? You, we're, we're here to save you. You were gonna save me? It was a really good plan, too. Well, I can go back inside and you can still do it. That's patronizing. I'm so sorry. Harley Quinn. Blood sport. You know the deal. <laughs> Successfully complete the mission, you get 10 years off your sentence. Times are hard. You fail to follow my orders in any way. I detonate the explosive device in the base of your skull. Can do the job so this is the famous Suicide Squad. Nom nom. Any questions? And? Yes. That is your hand. Very good. We're all gonna die. I hope so. Oh, for fuck's sake. Here's the deal. We fail the mission, you die. If we find out any information you give us is false, you die. If we find out you have personalized license plates, you die. What? No. If you cough without covering your mouth... Harley, although that isn't an open invitation for you to cough without covering your mouth. What's the plan? How the hell am I supposed to know? You're the leader. You're supposed to be decisive. And I've decided that you should eat a big bag of dicks. If this whole beach was completely covered in dicks, and somebody said I'd eat every dick until the beach was clean for liberty, I would say no problem. Why would someone put penises all over the beach? Who knows why madmen do what they do? This is suicide. Well, that's kind of our thing. I'm going to get you out of here alive. I'm going to get you out of here alive. Oh my god, we've got a freaking kaiju up in this shit! Uh-huh. I don't wanna do your We love the rain. It's like angels are splooching all over us. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I have a review for the new Suicide Squad movie. Um, I didn't see the original Suicide Squad. I don't know if I'm going to. I'm not really like into DC movies. I have, I've seen a little bit of Batman Begins, but I haven't seen Batman. Haven't seen Superman. I think the only ones I've really seen is like Wonder Woman. I, I just looked at my phone go pop. Wonder Woman and Shazam and the Suicide Squad. I don't know if I saw the, any other DC movies. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so, but, um... I wanted to watch this, because, like, I saw the trailer and it looked good. Um, and I watched this movie and it was very good. Um, I actually really, really, really like this movie. Um, I did a reminiscence review... Um, that's the last video that came out. I actually like this a lot more, because I saw this, like, two days after, um, Reminiscence, but, um, I love this movie, so, in this movie, the suic- there's, like, this group called the Suicide Squad, and they want to, like, fight all these people at this beach, and, um, the main character in that group was, um, played by Michael Rooker, who played Yondu in Guardians of the Galaxy. I like um, James Gunn. I like his work. He did really good with this movie, but um, it did feel like a, a lot like Guardians of the Galaxy, but um, they go to this island, and almost everyone dies except for Harley Quinn. Like, everyone's dying, and then this guy's running away, and he gets on this raft, and the government controlling the squad they don't want him running away, so they just blow his head up. They 
they like introduce you to these characters at the beginning in like the first 20 minutes they introduce them and they kill them all off except for harley quinn harley quinn is actually my favorite character i really like harley quinn she's hilarious and like she's one of my favorite um super villains but um she's the only one that survives um like there's there's this one guy that's just like a random guy um pete davidson i think plays him i think that's his name i'm not sure but um there's this guy that like his limbs disattach and then there's this like orange lady trying to think who else and then like michael rooker's guy and this weasel there's a weasel in this this really ugly weasel um and then harley quinn and she's the only one that survives but then they get to like the main story with um I'm trying to think the first thing that they showed scared me um i forgot everything in this movie um but going to the suicide squad that's actually like in the entire movie bloodshot played by idris elba um he was a pretty good character peacemaker played by john cena he was hilarious he was really good in the movie rick flag I didn't really get into his storyline, like, I couldn't understand his storyline, and I didn't really care about him, he was my least favorite character. Um, there's this, like, rat catcher, too. She, like, controls rats with her mind. And then there's this polka dot man who, like, shoots polka dots out of his body. Okay, I mean, he was a funny character and everything. He was a really funny character. He wasn't one of my favorites, but he was funny, um... And, like, if he doesn't shoot polka dots out of himself twice a day, he's going to, like, die or something. And he saves the world by imagining the villain. Talk a little more, a little more about the villain later, but he imagines the villain as his fat mom. Okay. Then probably my favorite character, besides Harley Quinn, King Shark. This giant shark with shorts. All these people have, like, powers and, like, super weapons. King Shark, he just eats people. There's this one part later in the movie where he, like, where there's this group of people that shoot him on the ground. And he, like, gets on the ground and he's getting shot at. And he just stands up walks to someone and just eats him and then a couple minutes later they show him gnawing on a guy's head he's just like on a guy's head and he's like the dumbest character and it's hilarious because like earlier in the movie he's like he does this and he goes like hand and then he is on the walkie talkie and he points out, like, he points at a bird, and he's like, bird. And then, he feels like he wants to get, like, a human disguise. And he wants to put on a fake mustache to disguise himself like a human. Oh my gosh, this character. He's so stupid and dumb, but he's hilarious. Speaking of stupid and dumb... The villain. The ultimate villain in this movie. A giant space starfish. With a huge eyeball in the middle of its face. That when it lifts its arm up. Sorry, I got hair in my eye. Oh my gosh, that's gross. He lifts his arm up. In tiny, like an army of tiny starfish, fly out his armpit. And when, and like, the shark, 
like gnaw he jumps on top of the starfish. It starts chewing on his armpit. <laughs> and then sorry, there's a message. And then Harley Quinn uses her like stabby thing. I forgot what it's called. But like this huge stick like Ray has in Star Wars. She jumps to it and flies into the giant sea starfish's space starfish's eye. This is uh, sorry. This is one of the weirdest movies I've ever seen and I love it so much. It's so stupid, but it's hilarious. I can't even take this movie seriously. There's like one scene where the peacemaker is just in his underwear. I mean, he, uh, they're talking and stuff, and he's just in his underwear. Take of that what you want. But yeah, I love this movie. Um, I love this movie. It's hilarious. Um, yeah, that was my review. It was just like kind of me making fun of this movie. But seriously, like I said, I did love this movie. This is really a movie review. The only thing I kind of like had wrong, like that was wrong with it was Rick Flagg. I don't know if it's wrong with it, but for me it is. I didn't like his storyline. I didn't like his character. He was really boring. Oh, and let's talk about the mid credit scene. If you guys have seen the mid credit scene, you know what I'm talking about. So the weasel dies in the beginning, right? He gets washed up. He drowns, and then he gets washed up on the beach. In the mid credit scene, he coughs up some water, stands up, and just waddles into the forest. Yeah. Well, that's my review for Suicide Squad 2021. Uh, let me know down below what you thought of it. Everyone loves this movie, um, and I get it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought down below. See you guys next time for my free guy movie review. See you guys then. Peace out.